Good morning YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles and I'm really glad you came back today. I'm going to do a short video on uh, what you're looking at here, which is a ferro rod. And it's used to uh, start tinder for a fire. Or and probably in this case it would be used to uh, fire off one of those cotton pads. Now this one, I finally found it again. And anymore, there are, I don't know how many different kinds of these. Uh, and let me show you basically what this one is. Um, I kind of keep it in the bag, try to keep it fairly in good shape. It's a little crubby and burned a little bit. But anyhow, this is the rod. And this is the uh, steel that you strike it with. I don't know why it's got a bottle opener on it, but <laughs> I guess that's handy for something. Uh, this one, I believe, is a 6-inch. And uh, it's not been used a lot. Uh, if you look, um, let's see, let's go right here. If you look here, this is the first thing you do. Uh, when you get one of these is uh, scrape this paint off of here or this coating I don't know that it's a paint really but and uh, so that way when you when you strike it you get a spark like that and that's what you're after but it comes this way it comes with this paracord with this uh, steel striker on it and uh, the, the ferro rod you can get these in bigger diameters, you know, that are, well, not that big, probably, uh, this is about a three-eighths, maybe a half. You can get them a little bit bigger than that. You don't get them much longer than this, usually. You can get them really short, though, which I wouldn't recommend, and you can get some that are keychain ones that I really wouldn't recommend. They're, they're about the size that I've seen, anyhow, about the size of the striker steel and you've got on one edge of it you have uh, the, the ferro rod and trying to strike that and it's short and it's short and it's just no good it's not uh, it, it's too hard to deal with and when you're trying to get a, a fire started and uh, anyhow like I say there's you can go to any sporting goods store and pick these up Amazon has them uh, probably by the thousands, I don't know, different kinds, different brands, different prices. Uh, some of them come, like this is paracord. Uh, some of them come with some uh, hemp rope so that you can peel the threads uh, apart on the hemp and use that as your, uh, your material to start a fire. Um, I don't do that. I, I'm going to do it this way and, uh, you know, We'll be striking these, you know, these ones we made. Now, now, these do have a lot of wax in them, and you saw in the last video that I had a little trouble firing this, but I didn't tear them either. So, so we might try to fire one of these today too. But anyhow, that's what this is all about: is this ferro rod. Like I said, when you first get one, it's all this coating here, and this coating will not work as a striker. A lot of guys strike these uh, with a knife, uh, especially hunters and survivalists. Now, I've got my knife here with me, and it's just a regular old pocket knife. But the problem with this knife is, is it's stainless steel. So when you strike it, absolutely nothing comes off of it. I mean, absolutely nothing. And you can go the other way, and pull back on this if you want. It ain't going to make any sparks. But if you have a good hunting knife, it will it will still strike. And there's so many different ways to to use these rods. Uh, uh, this one, uh, I really like this one because it's got the rounded edge that you can really work good with. Now pulling it back, I've never tried pulling the rod back like that, but that works. What I like to do is put it down on whatever you're trying to light and do that so that it comes right off the edge. 
And what you're really doing is you're taking the uh, a little bit of the metal off. And they, they catch fire and burn. And I'm told that those burn at about uh, 5,000 degrees, which I gotta assume is true. I, I don't know that's a fact. But, uh, but anyhow, that's how, uh, how these work. And like I said, it's gonna be a short video. Um, I'm kind of decide if I want to light this thing off or not that one or try to light that and I guess I could do it right here if I had let's see I don't know where I put my camera let me get something and I'll be right back all right guys for safety reasons in case this fires off really good this cotton pad now this is the, the same ones that uh, we did the mixture of um, this is uh, beeswax and uh, starter fluid for charcoal, charcoal starter. And typically what you do, you hit the striker, this lights, and then if you're going to start your fire, uh, you, just, you can just put a little bit of tinder on it and off you go. So, so anyhow, let's, uh, let's do this. What I didn't do the last time, and I should have, was tear this like that and then we'll get our little striker gizzy ferro rod I guess I should be technical so I don't get yelled at and then you, you just whoops wrong side Okay, now this is the same one that wouldn't start uh, with the fire the last time, so I'm just verifying now that there's way too much wax in this. I mean, it's, it's even hard to tear. And you can see there's been a little, little spark hit this in here and, and tried to burn, but there's so much wax. And that's because it was uh, the wrong consistency, didn't have enough fluid. And we'll try it again anyhow, but don't think oh yeah there it went there it goes and that's all it takes to get this started now this will get going and it'll get going good and then it'll burn for like uh, I think it's about four four and a half minutes so we're gonna do that and that's why I had my safety can there so anyhow that's how the ferro rod works. Uh, it works really well. And uh, like I say, you can spend, every, I've seen them for 50 bucks for one of these ferro rods. So you can spend kind of whatever you want on it. I think this one was, I'm thinking this was either 12 or 15 or 10 or something when I got it. So and they're probably up in price, but ha today happens to be uh, the big deal day at Amazon. And they've got things on sale, so maybe today's a good day to buy one of these. All right, so that's it for this one. It's going to be, like I said, it's going to be just a shorty. Just so I thought I'd, I knew I'd talked about this in the, the previous video. And uh, so now here it is, and you can saw it. You, you can saw it. <laughs> you can see it in operation. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you come back again. Have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. Like the words say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, give a great comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get future notifications, and definitely come back.